is running out for a special needs school to find a new home. The lease is up for the nonprofit Banyan Tree School in Claremont, forcing it to find a facility for its 45 students by next year. News 8's Heather Hope has details. For 25 years, the Banyan Tree School has provided individualized education and life skills for a special needs community here in Claremont, but that could all end as the school's lease is up and they need a much larger space. It's such a beautiful atmosphere here. 20 year old Banyan Tree School senior Taylor Miller is excited to graduate June 15th. I'm happy to say, yeah, I'm graduating and I have my diploma. Taylor says the Banyan Tree Foundation School in Claremont made her feel accepted. Those who have disabilities like myself should enjoy going to schools like this because it makes you feel at home. The school needs a new home soon as its building lease is up, plus the 45 students and staff have outgrown the campus. We've been looking for other space, but educational facilities are very difficult to come by. The zoning requirements and the building requirements are very different. The Banyan Tree School teaches students with autism, attention deficit disorders, and various learning disabilities. We're looking for probably around 18 to 20,000 square feet with playground. While staff has been searching for a new and spacious location, parents hope a good fit comes soon. It scares me to think of these children not having a place where they can thrive and learn. Heather Workman says her 13-year-old son Cole is finally excelling academically. This isn't just a school that is teaching academics and trying to catch kids up where they have fallen through the cracks, but they're thinking long term in the future. Statistics show unemployment is at 85 percent for the special needs community after they graduate. Each student really gets their curriculum specifically designed to them and it's actually necessary. It's been great while we've been here, but we do need more space. There has got to be someone, uh, some place that can give these children a permanent home so that they are not roaming from site to site. If you'd like to help out the Banyan Tree School, we have this story posted on our website, cbs8.com, for any possible ways or a new location if you'd like to help. Heather Hope, News 8.